of the heavier genres. I'm not gonna do the matter because it come on. And to offset all the heaviness, I want the heavy elephant, but pink nice. There's some blue there. That's pink and blue works, I guess. Um, I've already looked at the Iliad's Dark Evolution 664 right there. Really, really cool drop C kind of a lower tuned, down tuned guitar extended ranged thing. Now we're extending the range one half step more, but with a normal scale and another string. If you're thinking, which I know you might be, Henning, why are you showing a seven string guitars? Isn't that, that's totally not your thing. You'd be wrong. I had an Ibanez Universe multicolor seven string, multicolor, uh, Lilo Dallas multicolor seven string, uh, in 1990, it was my second guitar. I traded in my flower floral pattern gem for it. So I literally played seven strings when I was playing guitar for about a year. Um, when, when it wasn't hip at all to do seven string, when there were, I think, two on the market or maybe, maybe just that one. Um, so I've got some things to say about seven strings. I played... Uh, an ESP Horizon Limited, or a limited, not ESP, a limited Horizon on quite a few albums. 
and always use seven strings to extend the range low. Now, FGN, let's repeat that again, is a Japanese company, so Japanese quality and the kind of quality that you're used to from Ibanez Prestige Guitars, which always get the highest marks in terms of craftsmanship and buildality. That's a word. Um, so now uh, FGN Fujigen, that factory, is making their own guitars. Uh, great classic renditions of uh, Les Pauls and uh, Super Strats with the Odyssey or the Iliad. So there's that tallies, but this one's like a metal tally. Um, I love the J Standard Flame, 939 bucks, and it's a really tonally very impressive guitar. The expert line. There's a J standard line, and then, then, then the, and then there's, and then there's, the expert line. Which uh, come in a case. This comes in a case. Uh, and they have some really, really nice, very high end features. So let's go through the features of this very, very black expert Elan or Elan. It only comes in black because it's coming pink because come on pink with an elephant on it. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going through some basic stats here. Seema Duncan blackout pickups, active as you can see right here on the battery compartment, which is easily opened and battery exchanged. String through body in this case. That's how it comes, but it doesn't have to. Okay, because it has this FG and FJTP7 dual axis brass. Brass? Yeah. Bridge. You can actually go normal in the back of the bridge or alternatively come through the body. You could even do some strings this way, some strings the other way. Uh, you could, I, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't have the time to do that. Um, I didn't experiment with it. What sounds how would have been a great thing to do, but screw that, you do it. Um, on this one, they chose to go through the body. On my expert flame, they chose to go through the bridge. I will definitely restring it through the body and see what the difference is. Um, we have, a really cool, this is a set neck guitar, um, access here, which is, I can't even describe it. In German, they say, verjüngter Halsfuß, youngend, youngified. I don't know. Um, F African mahogany body, top out of Canadian maple, which of course you can't see. I would love this in a nice flame or quilt, but that's me. Um, satin polyurethane finish, five strippy neck, Canadian maple and walnut, right there. Oh, I'm an idiot. It has a natural binding. So look at the side. There you can see the Canadian maple top. I didn't even see that. That is sexy. There's a little bit of wood on it. Uh, which is what Leslie says about me. Get it? Oh, yeah. Um, fretboard is uh, Indian rosewood, and you get your CITES papers with it. 24 jumbo frets, and it has the CFS fretting system, the circle fretting system, which, again, you cannot see at all because I, I, it's just super subtle. But the frets are not straight. They are slightly curved. Which means every string, I hear like a ruku, 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 ruku. Do you hear that? What, what is that? What's that sound? Because it is Halloween and because we're doing metal guitars, we of course hired a professional pumpkin carver to do uh, pumpkin carving right here for you live while we do the review of the guitar. Because that's what we do here. We go all out for the creepy metal stuff. Um, yeah, circle fretting system, all the strings run across the frets in a perfect 90 degree perpendicular angle. We have Goto SG380 
tuning heads, which is one thing I'm going to bitch about. Any modern guitar like this should have locking tuners. It doesn't have a Floyd, therefore no locking nut. Um, where are the locking tuners? On the 849 Iliad right there, it has go-to locking tuners. I want to see that on here. They might have opted out because of the weight that seven locking tuners add. A modern guitar needs locking tuners. Please FGN add locking tuners. Um, Seema Duncan Blackouts, AHB ones, uh, active, blah, 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 one tone, one volume, three way. We have a 25.5 inch scale, uh, which is like a teenage electric eel, about. Uh, 648 millimeters. We have 49.5 millimeters here, which doesn't really tell you anything because we, we know six string guitars. We don't know this. Uh, comes with chains. First of all, the inlays are really, really original and cool. I kind of think they're nice. And the fretboard actually is uh, subtly framed with a binding out of maple. Maple binding. And while we here look at the fret ends, those have been hand rounded. I don't think a machine can do this. This is something that the experts have from FGN and um, something that only companies usually do where guitars are four or five thousand euros and above. So I know of three companies, which is Royal Kangas, Kangas from Finland. I don't know how to say that. Um, um, Framus Master Build and Isaac Berumen does it. So that is an, a feature then on a guitar. I think this is 1899 street price. Um, is simply unheard of. No one does it. So when it comes to quality and craftsmanship, um, you're hard pressed to find a flaw in the paint, in the neck, in anything. FGN is absolutely known for super flawless acidity. And guts are being scraped out of things here. That's pretty disgusting. What you gonna do? <laughs> We're starting to go into the Tone King Sky King right there, which is of course not an amp that anyone who owns this guitar will have, but it's got a great clean sound. And uh, I'm pumping that into the Torpedo Studio with a uh, Mesa 412 Sland from their Mesa Pack, which is actually very good, uh, pre mic'd with standard mics, a ribbon and an SM57. So that's what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. Neck pickup. That's it. It's already pushing the amp quite a bit. You probably will not play Hendrix on this. Middle position. This switch is very, very small and in a little hole there. Which I don't know how much I like that. It, the hole feels very sharp edged and getting to the switch also, it's very small. It's not what she said, Leslie. Bridge pickup. So, um, seven strings can also be used for jazz, where you just extend the, ra extend the range. This is not one of those. Not your jazziest seven string. Um, I'm moving on to a little bit of drizzle 
from the Argos by Achilles, which is a basement JTM style kind of very old style amp. Not what you would play with this because um, on those types of amps you have no headroom and for modern low uh, tuned sounds you want headroom. I'm doing it anyway. You can hear the, how the amp is pushing the power amp a lot. That's what you don't want with a guitar like this. You want open headroom. I'm going into another amp that has 30 watts and no uh, master volume, which is the Laney LA30BL, all the way to the bottom right there. You can clearly see how that's not really working because again the amp is meant to blow up the power amp which you don't want when you do more modern stuff um, so we go to the angle iron ball under a thousand bucks and that is only 20 watts but it's made for the Diesel Powell, not the heaviest diesel, but still. A little bit wooly, interesting. Ah, wait, back to the angle. I had the treble back, haha. <laughs> Interesting, on the angle you didn't really hear that, on the Powell you did. Let's do the Dirty Shirley by Friedman, which is again a rock app, but why not? That works as well. Moving on to the orange, because some of you might have oranges at home for the vitamins.
and like on the Iliad, let's go to the totally wrong Joyo Beale Street, that brown thing in the lower right corner, which is a 450 euro tweed style vintage amp with 12 watts. But if you have a less expensive tube amp, the guitar's missing a little bit of bite. You hearing that? I'm hearing that. Um, and I'm kicking in the Rev G3 pedal that I have on the table here, which is something you might want to do because you have a less expensive amp, but a distortion pedal. If you have this one, it might work. <laughs> Here we are on the Rev. I'm trying to pick my sh little heart out because my friend John Brown said, pick like a motherfucker. Oh, by the way, this guitar is a guitar tit right there, which is commendable. I they know how to do volutes, so I don't know why on the other guitars they don't. <laughs> John said, let's gain. And we're gonna try the drop A thing, for which you plug A. And there you go. More difficult to play with coffee, but you can. It's more of a beer bottle thing. So. So I'm really heavy shit, playing, 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 heavy shit, or just this.
that's why you never do a major seven with an 11, because that sounds like crap. Only combine major seven with sharp 11, he said. So, frankly, feels a tiny bit rolled off on the brightness. Could also be that cap that I'm using. So, um, that's a possibility. Craftsmanship, top notch, as good as it gets. Um, playability is super total fun to be frank on a seven string I would do low end riffing yeah I can do high end higher stuff but having other guitars on the wall I would use six strings that are made for the job however if you're on stage obviously you only have one guitar this ticks a lot of the boxes it definitely ticks the visual box but it makes you feel as if there's like hidden gems like the really thick maple top that they show here, the maple binding, the rounded fret edges, the volute, the case. Um, if you're looking for a, for a higher range 7 string, um, personally, well, Ibanez has some in the higher range. You were looking at uh, Prestigious, which uh, if you buy those, FGN still gets their money. Um, so... That's something you might look into, but when you are, you definitely owe it to yourself to check out the uh, expert Elan. Um, also, you can check out the Apocalypse by Schechter, which I very much like. I have it on the wall. It's a great guitar. It uh, clocks in at a bit less than this. However, bang for the buck, the Apocalypse comes in a cardboard box. A Prestige will come in a nice hard shell case. This comes in a wooden case or whatever, not, hard, not, a, not a plastic case, but... These other brands don't make you feel as if you're holding a, an instrument that has been tweaked to perfection in terms of its build quality. And this is. This is as good as guitars get when it comes to quality and the little details and the whole overall feel. So this, compared to other brands in its price range, just is a notch up in quality. So check it out if you're looking for seven strings. I wish it had locking tuners. Um... Well, boohoo. Uh, everything else, come on, it's black. That's pretty much what you're looking for, right? Just offset it with the elephant sweater. Um, I want to thank FGN. And uh, what else? My, you know, of course, my friends at Musik and Technik, Michael and Horsten, who sent me these guitars. Cool guys. They really believe in the brand and they, they're going places with it, which is way cool because more people should check out FGN because it is great stuff. Um, what else? Uh, links below. Please support my patron. That would really help. And then there will be animals when I'm done with this, which is now. Thanks, Michio. Bye. -bye.